helping your team start saving documents to OneDrive for business. In many companies, employees are still saving files to their local desktops even long after Office 365 or OneDrive for Business has been deployed. Saving documents on desktops leads to several data security risks and document management limitations. Stephanie Donahue, president at Pate Group, lays out simple steps you can take immediately to help your team adopt OneDrive for Business and improve data security, document management, and team collaboration. These steps also enable an easier transition to SharePoint. So you may be chuckling a little bit here. This is not my desktop. This is a slide, I promise. Um, but this this looks pretty familiar, and I you know I even know some MVPs who <laughs> their desktops look like this too. Uh, they may tell you it's redirected. Their re desktop is redirected to OneDrive, but uh, for a lot of people, their desktop is not redirected somewhere, and they may have a lot of files local to their desktop. And so we've got a lot of reasons for doing that. We may have perfectly valid reasons for doing that. Um, but we want to look for this scenario because we know we can make this better. The first problem we're going to have is that, again, for many, that desktop is not backed up. And so we may have business critical content. We may have intellectual property on that local desktop. And if it's not backed up and that computer goes bad, that hard drive goes bad on you or something blows up, an update doesn't go well, you're going to lose that information. It's, it's not backed up anywhere on a OneDrive or, you know, from normal backups because it's not on a file share. And we need to make sure that that information goes somewhere that we can get to it later if something does happen to our local machine. We could also run into a scenario where that desktop or, or that laptop is, you know, if it goes with you and you travel, you accidentally leave it somewhere, someone steals it from you, that is a scenario that could happen. And if that stuff's sitting on your desktop, you are at a higher risk if you're not using things like BitLocker encryption and all of that. So we do want to think about that. Another reason we may have some things on our desktop is that, you know, maybe maybe we're just comfortable with it there. No one's going to mess with our stuff. Uh, no one's going to overwrite my file on the file share. Maybe, you know, your cube uh, neighbor came in and, and worked on something that you were working on and they you lost some of your work. Then you got to go to IT. You got to wait for a restore from yesterday or the day before. Um, that all takes time away from you being able to get your job done. And sometimes some folks think it just loads faster, right? Maybe just get to it faster because I know where it is. I don't have to go digging. Uh, it opens really quick for my desktop. Um, but some of the issues with that is that, you know, we're not sharing that information. If we've got that one template um, and we're not real sure if we've got the most recent version because somebody else has updated the template and we didn't know about it or vice versa. Maybe you've done some updates that someone else needs. And, and so this isn't a really good long-term solution. Uh, and for those even with SharePoint, if you have SharePoint and you say, well, I save it down to my desktop, but I'm, I'm, I am really, at the end of the day, it does go into SharePoint as well. But there again, you've got issues with other folks updating that document um, that, that maybe you're not getting those updates and, and vice versa. So with SharePoint, even if you have good reason to have it down on your desktop, we're not deleting it later. Uh, we want to talk about some of the ways that uh, we can get stuff off the desktop and still make it really convenient for everyone to uh, to work within SharePoint or within OneDrive or whatever makes sense for your organization. So we've got some tips and tricks on working with these people uh, so that we don't have a, a scenario, scenario where someone has lost their information. Okay, so uh, if you've ever heard of uh, Dave Ramsey's uh, baby steps to financial success. That's kind of what we're doing here. It's, it's one of those where not everything I will tell you in the first couple of slides is going to apply to everyone. We want to take baby steps because we're going to talk about some of our most difficult hoarders uh, and, and give them some strategies to work within SharePoint and then we'll kind of build out from there. Okay, so the first one we're talking about here, desktop hoarders. Uh, one of their biggest concerns is to have that personal space that is provided to them. 
Uh, we want an area that's always backed up when to get that stuff off the desktop. In some cases, we may need mobile access. So what are we going to do uh, in order to get all of that to happen? Search results available, um, and we sometimes want to get rid of Dropbox. Well, we're going to transition to OneDrive. Now, for those that are on-premises, you still have a OneDrive available in your My Sites. For those that are on SharePoint Online, of course, you have OneDrive within uh, 365, and that's available. OneDrive for Business, right? There is a slight difference. OneDrive for Business is uh, connected to your Office 365 account. OneDrive uh, for Personal is going to be, um, you know, something that you keep your personal information in. So transition to OneDrive for Business. And uh, we want to make that available even if we're on-prem and we have SharePoint Online. There, uh, there's a certain uh, cumulative update that's available that you can apply. And you can even redirect our on-prem users to OneDrive for Business um, if you're kind of stuck in the middle there a little bit. So let's look at that real quick. We do have the ability to sync that OneDrive to our desktop. And I'm going to pull that up over here. So when we pull that over to our desktop, you're going to see that it is uh, available here and listed in my dropdown or in my uh, Explorer view so I can get to all of that information. It is going to now tell me if I'm synced over. So you'll see that here too. All of those green little check boxes that are here, that'll tell you that it's brought down to my desktop. It'll show a little red X if it's not. And um, so we've got a really nice basis for just bringing their personal info over. It could literally be a drag and drop from the desktop into OneDrive. They can still work in an Explorer view, which is super comfortable to them. Um, and, and then this way, we kind of have that first step. So we've got the ability to back this up, to kind of have that recycle bin in there, to be able to make sure that that information isn't going anywhere. And the other nice thing, if you're uh, OneDrive for Business, you now have the ability to right-click and move information from your OneDrive into SharePoint. And so this can kind of be your staging area where you can then right-click, move, and push it into a more final place out in the SharePoint environment. And for those that say, well, we don't need that, you know, we're good with, um, we don't need to maybe replace something like Dropbox. We don't have that in our environment. And, and for those that aren't familiar, OneDrive for Business does external sharing, which is why I have the Dropbox reference here. You could replace Dropbox with that external sharing feature in OneDrive. Um, if you're not providing some kind of solution to your end users for external sharing, uh, you may want to really look at this because uh, we had a customer who said, oh, everybody's just attaching things to email, and that's how they share things. And he actually had Dropbox call him and say, did you know you have so many users with your corporate email address in Dropbox? You should be managing all of your content at the enterprise level. And he had no idea that there was this tremendous amount of information that was getting shared out uh, intellectual property through Dropbox accounts that were not controlled by the business. And so again, if you're not providing a good solution, they will find workarounds. And so if you want control of your data and your intellectual property, this is really something to look at. OneDrive for Business, super easy to roll out. So this is our first baby step, very easy rollout, uh, whether you're on-prem or on 365, uh, it's a really good option. This video clip is a section from a full course on how to help your team start using SharePoint and Office 365 for document management. To watch the full course, click the link below. If you would like to automate training and support for your team, install Visual SP, the plug-and-play instant and contextual self-help system for SharePoint and Office 365. Over 1.5 million users and over 200 companies are using Visual SP to boost user adoption by over 30% while reducing the burden on their IT support teams. Using Visual SP step-by-step -step interactive tutorials, give your colleagues the help they need exactly when they need it. Facilitate employee onboarding with always accessible tip sheets, annotated screenshots, step-by-step walkthroughs, and screen capture videos. Accelerate user adoption of your business workflows and improve productivity. To see how Visual SP works, request a free demo. Click the link below or go to visualsp.com.